I'm very happy that I'm here at the Harrison School of Pharmacy. It's really exciting and I'm learning a lot. Auburn prides themselves on working with individuals to help them develop, not only as a professional, but as an individual. There's an Auburn family and it's real. It's a relationship that we have with each other. It's the kind of care that we give for our patients. And that's what sets Auburn pharmacists apart. Auburn's special because when you come here right away, you're welcomed by faculty, by other students, by our tremendous staff. And there's something special about that that stays with you for the rest of your life. The profession of pharmacy is always changing. Therefore, it's important for our curriculum to be evolving all the time. How many more patients had the event with drug A as opposed to drug B? We really took the traditional pharmacy curriculum and threw it out. When we were developing the new curriculum, we first wanted to start with what is it that we want our pharmacists to be able to do? So not just the knowledge that they need, but what are the skills that they need to practice once they graduate, hence Practice Ready Curriculum. And when you're playing the patient, make sure you only answer the questions that are asked by your pharmacist. Can you tell me a little bit more about the symptoms you're having? Our students have contact with patients in the community from the first day they step onto campus here. The pharmacy practice experience gives you the opportunity to go out and see patients in the community. Years ago, the state identified a need where the Gulf Coast of Alabama, Florida, and, and Mississippi did not have a sufficient number of pharmacists to meet the needs of the communities. So we established the Mobile Campus to help produce graduates that would hopefully stay in that region to then provide care for that population. So we have surveys that tell us what technologies are most commonly used in the hospital settings. In the Department of Health Outcomes Research and Policy, our goal is to improve medication-related outcomes by focusing on patient-level, provider-level, and system-level factors that can influence medication use. Sheree, how is the staining going? Um, pretty good. Uh, they're just in secondary antibody right now. So that's Collaboration is very important because the majority of us are specialized in our area and techniques. But in order to address a research hypothesis or to develop a new drug, you generally need a lot of different techniques, a lot of different methodologies, and a lot of different specialities. From day one, having the opportunity to jump in with my faculty members and start that research and progress it through four years of school really excites me. PharmD students can also take advantage of research resources at Auburn. For the medicinal chemistry, pharmaceutics, and pharmacology core curriculum, students can study areas of diseases including diabetes, cardiovascular disease, oncology, neurodegenerative conditions, as well as infectious diseases. It's best to take the thyroid medication about 30 minutes before your first meal so that way it's absorbed by your body better. We have five clinical rotation regions. This is where our fourth year students are able to take all of the skills that they've developed over the first three years of the curriculum and practice in a real world setting. We get a diverse view of what pharmacy really looks like in the state of Alabama and the surrounding areas such as Florida and Tennessee and Mississippi. And just being on the traditional campus, you get to meet a lot of new people that you have a little bit more in common with because you're closer to their age. I actually graduated from Auburn University several years ago. I absolutely love Auburn. I love the town, I love the people, I love the traditions. The best part of my job is seeing students succeed. I absolutely love watching them go on to do great things. That makes me very proud.